holy crap, you guys missed a ton of awesome stuff. So first of all, I was dealing with all the mayhem and the reefing lines kind of strapped to the mast and I got like one line in this hand and I got one line in that hand and I'm, I'm holding it with this one and I'm, and I'm pulling with the other one trying to get the sail down. Guess what? The freaking pole goes off. It's like and I'm sitting here like, uh, shit. So I reach down real quick and I'm the other one and the other one and I come, I come back here and, and I grab a hold of my pole and I forgot I had set the drag so I grab a hold of it like it just goes more and I lock it back down and I grab it and it's like snap. That lure was this big. No bullshit. Whatever that was, it was way bigger than this. Boom, gone. My big old cool swimmy lure. Sorry, Tony. Tony gave me the fishing pole, and I think uh, I think the lure too is gone. So now I got now I got one this big on. <laughs> you know, maybe. I got steel leaders on and all that. So I got, the, I got the, the silver guy with the blue stripe. He's out there. And the pink and the blue squid is out the other side. Maybe we'll have another look. But then, so I'm chilling. You know, eating eating fish taco. If y'all know me long enough, that's like, I'll eat fish taco for breakfast. I'll eat fish taco for lunch. I'll eat fish taco for dinner. I'll eat fish taco for brunch. I don't, I don't care. I just love fish taco, you know? So I'm chilling, eating my fish taco, and 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 there she blows. I'm like, whale! And it was uh, fish taco goes flying everywhere. It's on my phone. I just it's just fish taco juices all over the place. It's like a damn explosion of fish taco. And I don't even care because that's the first time I ever saw a whale in my life. And it was so damn cool. I, it made all the bullshit of the night before worthwhile. So now. We're in the Gulf Stream. We've been cruising out and cruising out and cruising out. And it literally feels like we're going downhill. This Gulf Stream's got so much ass behind it. I'm, I'm almost marking six knots. No, I'm sorry. I'm over six knots. Time's knocking on seven knots. And it's like blowing 12 miles an hour. I mean, it's nothing. And we're, we're, we got at least 50% of it. Damn near running dead with it. So, fishing poles are back out. Maybe we'll have, you know, some luck. And instead of eating old school canned fish taco, I can have fresh ahi tuna fish taco. That's that's my favorite favorite fish taco. Is that ahi tuna fish taco? Mwah! It's good stuff. But then I was chilling, and you know I gotta invent stuff. So I want I want to show you guys something. Hold on. This is this is Steve O's Cruiser official freaking drink holder check it all right so you're chilling right you're drinking your can of soda you got a couple cans of soda maybe you got a couple cans of beer i don't i don't drink beer while i'm sailing i i, I just don't think that's that's responsible i'll make a salad every once in a while but uh no beer i drink the coke though make my tummy not feel so bad because sometimes even though captain silver size it gets a little well tummy when it's rolling like this and that isn't that is just no fun so all right, so I'm chilling, drinking my Coke, and your Coke's like, whoop, 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 boof, blows up. You got Coke all over the place. That's no good. So I invented the Rough Seas Cruiser Approved Locking Drink Holder. And you just set this bad boy down on the incline, boom. Look at that. It's like, it's like magic. So I got a special deal, special promo going. I'm going to do... I'm gonna do one of these Cruiser Stevo approved drink holders, $59.95. All right, and your drinks will never spill again as long as you use it properly. If you don't use it properly, I, I can't be responsible. But if you act now on this once in a lifetime offer, I'll do two Stevo approved drink holders shipped right to your door, no charge for shipping, and all the proceeds go to cleaning up the plastic in the ocean. Right, that's a good deal. That's a good deal for everybody, I think. And they work for other things too. They're not just they're not just drink holders. You know, if you get your knickers wet, you go, you wash, you take a shower, you're washing the boys, you're stomping on your shoes and stomping on your shorts, you get them all clean, you're like, oh man, I gotta hang these up. Check it. Boop! They hold all kinds of cool stuff. I don't know why never nobody ever invented one of these before. But anyway, 
Drop me a line in the comments. I'll hook you up with some shipping information. We'll, we'll get the whole world to have a bunch of these, and we can clean up more plastic with the proceeds, right? All right. Cross your fingers for some fresh fish taco. I'll see you guys later. So we've been watching this stuff float by. It's called Sargassum. And look how massive this thing is. It's just craziness. And I, and I really don't even care if you guys are interested in this or not, because someday when I'm old, I'm going to want to see this stuff again. So that's the only reason I'm showing it to y'all. Y'all might find it interesting, y'all might not. But there's a whole bunch of aquatic habitat underneath that thing floating in the middle of the ocean. Crazy. Okay, bye. Cheers to the day that began in utter chaos and ended in near perfection. Waiting for the green flash. Beautiful. No green flash tonight. Mm -mm. Maybe next time. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the little bell, share this all with your friends. I'll see you guys next time.